myself Ankita Tiwari from LG Institute of Engineering and Technology from ITIC department. I am going to take a session from the subject that is computer vision. The subject code is 3171614. The module that we are going to cover is module number 5. Module name is camera calibration. Basically the topic that we are going to do are the three topics today we are going to complete that is intrinsic and extrinsic parameters, radial lens that is distortion and direct parameter calibration. So starting with the extrinsic parameters, the extrinsic parameters represent a rigid transformation from a 3D world coordinate system to a that is 3D coordinate system. We can say that from the 3D world to camera means from the world system that is XYZ parameter will be defined in the 3D camera coordinate system. So here the extrusing parameter consists of rotation that is R and a translation T. So basically two transformations are involved that is rotation and translation. And both are defined by the two variables that is R and T. So the origin of the camera's coordinate system is at we can say the optical center and also the X and Y axis defined in the image plane. What do you mean by extrinsic parameters? So the camera frame is basically not aligned with the world frame. So we can say that the rigid transformation between them can be defined like C of X is equal to R. R means the rotational matrix with C and W, the world coordinates to camera coordinates into X. X is the parameter that we are having with the world coordinates plus camera that is frame that is uh, camera coordinates and the world coordinates into so basically we are having the two of the parameters that we need to find it out that is rotation and the translation which will be combined into form a rigid transformation. So the coordinates of the 3D scene point we can say in the camera frame is defined with the camera with the frame C. The coordinates of the 3D scene point in the world frame is defined by the object that is W. Rotational matrix of the world frame in the camera frame is defined by the rotational matrix R and the position of the world frame's origin in the camera frame is defined by the C value of the x. So these are the different extrusing parameters. The translation matrix for an extrusing parameter is defined by the t. tx, ty and tz are the translation vector. With respect to rotational matrix that we have that is r is equal to r11, r12, r13. So rotational matrix is defined by the cos and sin theta requirement that is defined for the particular theta angle in the figure. So here you can see that the image has been defined with the world coordinate to the uh, parameter image camera coordinate that we have in order to form the perform the transformation we have two transformation that is r and t so both of them will be applied with respect to first of all rotation and then translation so this is what transformation is with respect to that here the matrix has already been defined so the intrinsic parameters basically represent a projective transformation we can say from the 3d camera that is coordinates into the 2d image coordinate. So basically we are having different models for it. So pinhole camera model defined with respect to x and y parameter that is x equals to f of x upon z and y is defined with respect to function f of x y upon z. So the camera sensor pixel is not exactly the square of the value. So we can define that is x is equals to k that is f of x comma z x by z and y is equals to l of f that is y upon z. So here the different parameters defined in the equation like x, y, k, k, l, okay, f. So these are what? So x, y is what? Coordinates. That is pixels that we are taking it. K and l that we have defined for the x and y parameter are the scale parameters that we are defining with respect to what scale you want to increase or decrease the size in terms of pixels. So pixels per uh, meter that is per pixels per camera film that is just defined. F is the focal length. Okay, the focal length which is defined in the meter or mm size. So f is the focal length which is being defined with every parameter. Okay, every parameter with respect to the pixel that is x and y. So the intrinsic parameters we can say f, k, l are not independent. We can write as follows in terms of pixels like f of x is equal to kf and f of y is equal to lf. Now with respect to that we need to find out the x and y parameter. So x is defined with respect to fx, x by z and y will be defined with respect to f5, y by z. Now image center we can say the principal point c may not be at the origin which is denoting the value of c in image plane as cx and cy. Then so x is equal to f of x, x by z plus cx the parameter which is defined with the c in the image plane as cx and with respect to y, y is equal to f5, y upon z plus cy. Now the analog optical axis we can say if we are defining it 
if we are defining the analog optical axis, the x y will be equal to zero, and x is equal to c x. Same, if x y becomes root zero, x will become c x, and y is equal to c y. So these are the different parameters that is defined with respect to x and y, where the image center or the principal point C is being defined with respect to origin. So here, the let in we can say that the image frame may not be exactly rectangular. But theta, that is, denote this Q angle between the x and y axis. Here we are taking into consideration. So with respect to theta, okay, the angle that we need to find it out between the x and y axis is defined as like x is equal to f x x by z minus f x, that is, cot theta y by z, at plus c x, the value which is defined with the parameter. Now the same thing will be applied to y, that is, f y upon sine theta y by z plus c y. Now, the combining all the parameters that is defined here with x and y, the intrinsic parameter matrix is defined as x bar, means the new value is equal to 1 by z, that is kx, where k is defined, x is we have already defined, k is defined as f of x minus fx or theta, cx, 0 fy by sine theta, cy, 0, 0, 1. 0, 0, 1 is the homogeneous coordinate system with respect to third parameter as unit vector. So here, this is what the intrinsic parameters with respect to the values, okay? And the homogeneous coordinate system, the third parameter is one. So here, that intrinsic parameter value is defined with the three of the matrices here defined, like R, that is rotational matrix, P, the translation, with respect to two of the angle, that is X, Y, Z, the world coordinate, to the camera coordinate, that is X, Y, Z. So the transformation that we are taking it with respect to rotation and with respect to translation, we have already defined the three of the matrices. So this is what intrinsic parameters in, we can say the system, that is our camera models, we can say the camera calibration, in that terms we can also say that, the different models that we are using it, we can say that. So these are the different parameters, so intrinsic and extrinsic parameters, if we combine it with respect to the parameter value. So P of X bar is equal to, that is K, C means the camera coordinates with respect to X is equals to K. C, camera with world coordinate of R, the same formula, Rx plus T, that we've already defined in the transformation. But here, the two values is defined with the camera coordinate, that is camera, image plane, and the world coordinate. So the camera coordinate and world coordinate defined with the formula Rx plus T. Whenever we are defining the simpler notations, okay, the simpler notations will always be defined with the p value, the parameter defined. So p with respect to x bar is equal to, we are taking the common k rx plus t. We have removed here the c and w form, which we are taking it in the uh, formula, above formula. Okay, so for the simplicity, to get the exact formula that we have. Now, the next topic that we are going to study for today's topic is radial lens distortion. Now distort images. So basically lenses can distort images, especially at a what that's, that's a short, we can say focal length. So what are the different parameters that is defined for a particular distortion level? So this is what the different parameters are, okay, and different uh, model that we can apply it. Like the lens can distort images like this, for example, focal length means distance between the camera lens and the object. Okay, so that distance will need to be cons considered in order to explain, in order to get the clarity of the image. So with respect to that, if we are taking an image like this, okay, here, so some of the part of the left hand side has been removed and some of the part is left, uh, right hand side is removed. As you can see, the high and low bound. Okay, here, uh, uh, in pin cushion, we can say that it is more bounded to up upper side and it is less bounded to lower side. But here, it is more bounded to lower side and it is up less bounded to upper side and the fish eye if we are taking it we have all, already explained the concept of fish eye camera model where we we are getting an expanded view of an object means the view that we are taking it with respect to the uh, parameter which is defined with the object okay the all the parameters consideration and the expanded view of that uh, object so this is what we can say uh, distortion means with respect to different views so radial distortion is basically modeled as we can say that xd and yd the two of the parameters with respect to x and y the d stands for distortion so xd is equals to x into 1 plus k1 that is r squared it's a particular formula with the different parameters of k 
1 plus k1 r square plus k2 into r raised to 4 plus k3 into r raised to 6 with respect to 2 ratio the r values increased okay same thing applies to yd which is equals to y into 1 plus k1 r square plus k2 r raised to 4 plus k3 r raised to 6 so we can see that the xd and yd are the distorted coordinates that we have with respect to a particular pixel a particular point in an object and the undistorted coordinates that we are defining it the before values that is x and y so that are undistorted coordinates we can say that and the distortion parameters that we are applying for a particular model is k1 k2 and k with respect to the value that is r2 r4 and r6 so basically when we are defining the value of r it is defined with the formula as r square is equal to x square plus y square we can say that it is an actual image coordinates that we are performing or we are getting it for a particular pixel in a uh, lens okay so the two of the parameters with respect to the actual image coordinates are xa and ya which is equal to fxxd plus cx which have already defined with the camera parameters and the distance distortion value d y is equal to fyyd plus cy so these are the two of the parameters which is defined with the actual image coordinates with the radial lens distortion so this is what the two of the parameters actual coordinates and these are the radial distortion parameter that we have defined for the particular parameters of distortion so these are these are what the things that we are discussing for the radial lens distortion the next topic that we are going to study for this session is direct parameter calibration so the direct recovery of the intrinsic and extrinsic camera parameters we can say that for n parameter it is defined by the value that is m so m i n is equal to minus f upon sx sx and sy are the two scaling factors that is defined for the particular intrinsic and extrinsic camera parameters so the m in which we can say that the direct parameter defined by m in intrinsic okay minus f by sx 0 0 x so 0 means o x 0 minus f by sy o y 0 0 1 which is defined by the homogeneous coordinate system so here the m of ex okay, with respect to the parameter as we can say the calibration of the camera is defined with m ex which is equal to r11 r12 r13 r21 r22 r23 r31 r32 and r3 t and the last fourth column that is defined by minus r1 transpose of r1 with respect to dot into t same thing applies to next row column as minus r2 with the transpose value into t the third which is defined with minus r3 transpose into t so these is a particular matrix for direct recovery we can say direct parameter calibration for a particular value and this is defined for the intrinsic and extrinsic camera parameters which is defined for the camera calibration so the reviewing of the basic equations that we have already studied from the world coordinates to the camera coordinates we have already defined the two of the form that is pc is equal to r into w uh, pw minus t or we can say pc that is camera coordinates is equal to r of pw minus rt or we can say pc is equal to r pw minus t dash we have already defined with the plus value here the minus will be taken because with respect to world coordinates we are taking the camera coordinates okay so from for simplicity we can replace minus t bar t dash to with t warning like this is not the same as t as before we already defined here so we can say pc is equal to r pw plus t this is the actual formula that we have seen for the world uh, camera coordinates with the world coordinates okay so which is defined by xc yc zc is equal to the rotational matrix r into pw pw means the point coordinates with the world so xw yw zw plus the translation vector that uh, matrix that is t is defined with the tx t by n tz so these are the different parameters or the different uh, combinations of the world coordinates or the camera coordinates that we have seen here the intrinsic and extrinsic parameters and the two of the lens distortion and the direct parameter calibration so these topics we have done the next topic we are going to do in the next session thank you